welcome back to my channel today i am sharing with you uh how to create this very dreamy and very aesthetic makeup look i know that it looks like a very very summery and spring makeup look but i did see a similar look on pinterest and i really really wanted to recreate it and i'm not gonna let the weather stop me from recreating a look i really loved on top of that today i am having the worst skin day for some reason i don't know what what's wrong with my skin but anyways this did not stop me from recreating this look i do know that my skin looks a little bit textured and i'm sorry about that usually my skin does not look that bad i do have bad skin days like everyone else but yeah today is the day the day i decided to film my skin decided to act up it always happens every time i want to film my hair looks bad and today my hair looks bad i don't know <laughs> never mind let's just get into it oh it's so tight <clears throat> i made myself some iced tea peach it's good for this look, I'm going to be using my Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star. I really love this palette. It has like all kinds of different shades that you can use. And that's why I love it so, so much. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm going to grab that uh, yellow shade. It's called Wow. So I'm just gonna grab it using this uh, dense uh, brush. I'm going to pack it like uh, on the inner part of my eyes uh, like that if it decides to appear because it seems that it does not want okay Well, the mistake that I did is to set my eyes. Well, I should not have done that. But it's fine, we're gonna deal with that. So as you can see, I'm just like packing it like in a random way. I'm gonna do the same with the other eye. So I'm gonna go back to the yellow later. Uh, now I'm just going to apply my other shade. So I'm going to apply uh, the orange shade that is just right next to it. Uh, it's in the shade uh, Suck. So it's like, a, I would say it's like a salmon shade. It's not really orange. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna take that shade and using this really um, fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply it in the outer part of my eye and I'm going to give it like a more uh, cat eye shape. So first of all, I'm trying to like use tapping motion. So I'm gonna try to also blend the, the yellow with the orange so I'm just going to do that slowly because I don't want the orange to step on the yellow and I'm taking the orange shade like really up to my eyebrows because like I said I wanted to have like this cat eye shape so I'm going to do the same thing with my other eye so first of all i just like pat the shade like really close and then i'm just going to like shape it and i do that like step by step so i'm going to apply even more orange Also, like I try to use padding motion. So 
So I'm gonna use like a um, a clean fluffy brush and I'm just gonna fluff it. I don't know if it, that makes sense, but like just gonna blend the edges just so that it looks uh, seamless. And now I'm going to intensify the uh, yellow shade. So again, I'm taking the same wow shade and just like patting it where I apply the yellow shade. So it's all about applying, blending, applying, blending, applying, blending. And I realized this this look looks very uh, summery. <laughs> to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, follow the same step on my lower lash line. I'm going to stop with the eyeshadow and I'm going to create a wing line. Uh, so for that, I'm going to use my NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade uh, Black. It's a waterproof eyeliner and I really love it to create my eyeliners and of course I have to focus to do that part but I'm gonna quickly explain what I'm doing so first of all I'm going to draw draw a line uh, and it's going to follow the line of my lower lash line so like it's going to go up like this and I'm going to do the same thing with that eye I'm going to make sure that each lines are even so that I can carry on Okay, so now that I drew the wing line, I'm going to fill it in. The key when creating a wing line is to be very patient and to be able to have a steady hand. So I think, I think I like how my eyeliner looks, but... So now I'm just going to tight line because when I'm gonna apply mascara, I want my liner or my like lash line to be as dark as possible. I got way better at tight lining now, but as you can see, I still struggle, but it's better than the first time I did it. I think that's it for the eyes. I'm just going to apply like a shade on my like in her corner, I'm gonna use the shade uh, Jawbreaker and with my finger here, I'm just gonna do this super simple, super easy I'm gonna do something else and uh, now I'm just going to apply some mascara of course I'm curling my lashes before Ooh, I got on my nose, okay I'm gonna wait till it dry so I can remove it but basically that's my eye makeup uh, now we're gonna do like the little clouds and stuff um, for that I'm going to use these jumbo eye pencil uh, so I really didn't decide how I'm gonna make them so I think I'm gonna do like a big one here a small one here and a small one here so let me start with like the big one Personally, I like it. I'm going to try to do this side. Uh,
I like this side better than this side, but what can I do? So I think that's it for the clouds. Uh, I'm just going to now do a small stars. Uh, and I want to do a moon here. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, eyeliner by Colourpop. It's the uh, creme gel color by uh, by Colourpop in the shade Punch. So it looks like that. I've already used it on my channel already. And I'm using like this really precise brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to create my small stars. Uh, where? I don't know. But I do want to create moons first. So let me create like a moon right under my eyes. Okay, so I created two moons. Yay! I did it! Uh, now I want to create like stars, so I think I'm gonna go with one here. Nice, I'm gonna go with one here. So yeah, so the last thing that I have to do is uh, lips and for lips I was thinking a regular gloss so I'm gonna apply the House Laboratories uh, gloss this is in the shade La Riot so it's lip gloss in the shade La Riot I got it in the set with like the eyeshadow and the lip liner Okay, last step is of course setting spray, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I, I'm going to take this white liner by NYX Cosmetics. I'm just going to draw, so I'm just going to do this. So I'm just deciding on a last uh, thing to add. I'm actually going to take um, that orange shade that I applied on my eyes. I'm going to apply it a little bit on my nose using this really cute fluffy brush by Lila B. And I'm just gonna just apply it a little bit on my nose. A little bit here. So that's the final result. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to leave this video a like. Bye!